Welcome home from two. We have confirmation of splashdown of the Dragon spacecraft. Dragon has returned home with the From Two crew. The SpaceX recovery ship and team have been waiting for Dragon splashdown, and they will now start making their way to the splashdown location. Our teams have been ready and waiting for this return about three nautical miles away. So it's going to take them about 30 minutes to make their way to Dragon. And I want to bring in former NASA astronaut Charles Camarda for a little bit more on this. Charles, you said we're hoping for a nice soft landing in the Pacific. It looks like they got that. Abs absolutely. Picture perfect. Just like the prior launch that uh, of uh, Crew 9, Dragon 9, that came in with Butch and Sonny. It was beautiful. So uh, walk me through this. You've got these four uh people now obviously back on Earth uh, having so many firsts during their time in space. Why is this so significant? It's significant because SpaceX, or companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin, SpaceX is making it look simple. And that's what we have to do. We have to make it routine. We have to make it safe. And we have to make it affordable. And that's the way we're going to get there with commercial carriers like SpaceX, Blue Origin, et cetera. Why do we have to do those things? Why is this so important? It's so important if we ever want to make space flight like aircraft flight, right? We want to have more people flying in space. There'll be more innovation. We'll make it safer. And then we can explore further and further out. So what happens now? You've got these four astronauts inside this capsule gently bobbing around the Pacific. We're looking out for dolphins, haven't seen any yet, but it's possible they might still get a marine greeting. Uh, but, but what happens uh, now as, as they make their way legitimately back home? As they make their way back home, they'll analyze the data, they'll be blitzed with media, and they'll spread the message. You know, the images that you see, these beautiful images from a polar orbit, you have a polar explorer that's on this flight. Uh, it, it's just the next phase. You know, they named the 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 vehicle Fram after the um, after the Antarctic Explorer's mission to the Antarctic, and so uh, this is this is beautiful. It's spreading the word. Space is fun. And again, for anyone just joining us, we are watching the first crewed space mission to explore the Earth's polar regions. Just having splashed down in the Pacific, what looks like a very safe arrival for these four astronauts now coming back to Earth. Uh, Charles, what are you watching for here next? Well, the, the fast boats are gonna be coming to, and the um, divers are gonna be getting the crew out. They're gonna be taking them to the recovery ship. And what I've heard, it looks like it's gonna take about 30 minutes. They're a little bit further out. They're just enjoying the time. They're, they're re relaying some of the stories and, and what they've observed from space and, and the fun time they've had. All right, former NASA astronaut Charles Camarda, we appreciate your time. As always, Charles, thank you. Thanks, Diane.